my name is Nari and I'm eight years old. Today I'm going to tell you a book called The Tenth Husky by Bethany Roberts. The igloo was glowing as the sun rose that morning. Sasha got up on her feet and shook the snow off her thick furry coat. She was on a dog sled team of ten huskies. Sasha loved to run with the dog sled team and explore. A fisherman was their master, and he was very good to the dogs. He checked on every dog after each run to make sure none of them were hurt or ill. At the end of every day, he gave all the dogs a bite of fish. I must do something to thank the master. Sasha said, "Maybe I could find him the best fishing spot." The rest of the sled dogs were still sleeping, but Sasha crept off. When she came to the woods, she began her quest for the perfect fishing spot. Just then, she saw a white rabbit dash into the brush. Sasha chased after it, and the rabbit ran even faster. They ran past trees and rocks topped with dusty snow. Finally, the rabbit dove into a hollow. Log, and was safe. Sasha stuck her nose into the log, but it was too small for her whole body. You are too fast for me, rabbit. She barked. Then she looked up to see a wide river. Just past the log. The river was hard because ice had formed on the top. Out on the ice, there was a hole that had metal in the sun. The perfect fishing hole, Sasha said, with her fluffy tail wagging. She ran out to the hole in the ice. Then there was a cracking sound. Sasha froze. The ice around her was breaking. She stood very still. If she moved, she might fall into the cold river. She began barking, "Help, master! Help!" Back at the igloo. The fisherman began to wake up the sled dogs. He got the sled out and began to put the harnesses on the dogs. As he worked, he called each dog by its name. Good morning, Luca. Luca, are you going to run fast today? He asked as he rubbed Luca's neck. Rubbed. Luca's neck. Luca barked and wagged his tail. Rocky, hello, old boy. He said, "Jet, Alec, we going to find some f- good fish today." Then he stopped and looked around. He counted the dogs two more times. Where's Sasha? He said to himself. The dog stopped barking and looked at the master. 
Then there was a howl from far away. Old Rocky howled back. That's her. Let's go! The master called to the dogs. The fisherman hopped on the sled. The dogs ran as fast as they could into the woods. They followed Sasha's cry until they came to the river. The master saw that Sasha was afraid to move. When she saw the master, she hugged. Her tail. She knew she should not have left the team. As she, as the master started to walk to the ice, Rocky tried to go with him. The master turned and told the dogs to stay on the bank. He got down on his knee and crawled over the ice towards Sasha. While he crawled, he felt. The ice to see if it was thick. Then he could reach her. He tied her harnesses to her shaking body and pulled her to the thick ice. As soon as he was sure that the thick ice could hold them both, he picked her up in his strong arms and took her back to the sled. The sled dogs barked happily as they made their way to the river bank. This time, the master did not let Sasha pull with the other dogs. He laid her down on the back of the sled and covered her with a warm blanket. Then he caught the barking dogs. And they pulled the sled all the way back to the igloo. The next night, the master tied Sasha's leash to a tree so she could not run away. But she did not want to leave the team anymore. She was happy to be safe and back with her master. Goodbye. Thank you for listening.